Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Amkip254. Hope you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and if you haven't subscribed kindly, I request you to subscribe and also switch on the notification so that wherever I post a video at least you'll be able to get a notification notification that uh, a video has been posted. So today guys I'm gonna show you part of Mombasa Road, Upper Hill and also part of Ngong Road. Hope you will enjoy guys. So guys as you can see I'm at the top of a pedestrian bridge. Uh, this is where uh, people I usually cross to the other side of the road so that they can catch the public transport vehicles they are called matatus and it's, it has made easier for people to cross because you cannot cross through the highway because the other side on the right side is Mombasa Road the inner road is called the Nairobi Expressway so it will be very hard for you to cross you can see there are so many cars that are going at the higher speed you cannot cross over the other side and then there's a barrier in between the road um the mombasa road and the uh, expressway you cannot jump over so this pedestrian uh which helps you to uh, go to the other side either side of the road and you can see also there are the the inner lane of the Nairobi Expressway, it has three lanes, uh, and then uh, when you are going to Nairobi CBD, and also when you are going to the side of the airport, it's, it's three lanes. Even the outer lane now, which is Mombasa, Mombasa Road, is three lanes. The other side, the left side of Mombasa Road, also is three lanes. So at least the many vehicles can it can accommodate many vehicles at a go. And also right now you can see that so many vehicles are using Mombasa Road because it's not a paid road and less right now using the uh, expressway because it's a, a toll road. So expressway usually um, get busy during the evening because there is a lot of jam on Mombasa Road. Uh, that's why the expressway was constructed. So you can find a lot of cars during the evening and early in the morning also for people who don't want maybe to get uh, to get stuck on the on Mombasa road they, they they just pay so that they can use the expressway uh, so that they can just uh, use the road without any disruption from the jam so the other side you can see is the Imara mall it's uh, one of the biggest mall here in Kenya in Nairobi Kenya also and it has it has a lot of um, shopping shops uh, supermarkets eateries and other other amenities so guys uh, continue watching the video uh, see you in the, the other side
Hey guys, this is Nyao roundabout. As you can see, the road is not that busy as much. The upper road is the Nairobi Expressway. Then this other road, which is called Langata Road, as you can see. This is going to Langata and Karen and then up there this next structure is uh, near Stadia it is not visible from here but where there are some lights they are it's called flashlights oh no it's called floodlights yeah that's where there's near stadium and then there, the other side is upper hill area now, as you can see, there are some beautiful buildings there. That one is the UAP Towers, it is the second tallest building in Kenya, after Britam Towers, hopefully I'll be able to show you Britam Towers later. There are some good buildings coming up here, then here is the Nairobi West Hospital. West Hospital. So this place is awesome. As you can see, there are some trees planted there. Then the other road goes towards industrial area and the go road. This other road comes from Mombasa Road. Mombasa Road is the lower road. And then now the elevated part is the Nairobi Expressway. As you can see, beautiful indeed. Eh? There are still some constructions going on, as you can see. They are trying to construct the drainage for the roundabout. Yeah. And most Kenyan roads were there of the pedestrian bridges, as you can see, there is another one there. And then there is this one also, which I am right now. I'm using to, to cross the other side. This is the road going to industrial area, so B, and also part of the go road there. Then you can descend from this part, from the bridge, or this one. So I'm gonna take this one. Now stadium is inside that guys. Hello guys, this is Upper Hill area. Upper Hill area starts from here and as you can see it's a well built area. The other side is uh, Arab West where I was coming from but right now we are on this other side of uh, Upper Hill it's more of a commercial uh, area because there are a lot of offices in this area as you can see and um, I'll show you around guys this is where the tallest building in Kenya East and Central Africa is and also um, the second tallest building in Kenya is 
the third tallest building in Kenya is so up I'll, it was more of a residential area but now right now it has become a commercial area so hope you will enjoy guys as i show you around So guys, as you can see, that is UAP Old Mutual Towers, it is the third tallest uh, building in Kenya, it's, uh, it has 163 meters, or it's uh, 163 meters tall, I'll show you the tallest building right now, yes, as you can see, <laughs> there it is britain towers i'll show you when i get close uh, to that place but you can see it's, it's written britain that is kcb on the left britain towers is the tallest building in kenya it has 200 meters or it is 200 meters tall as you can see it's not feasible uh, from here that much because there are some buildings which are rendering the visibility but when I get there I'll be able to show you so this road uh, which you're seeing here is called hospital road it just connects with uh, with Ngong road up there there's an hospital around it's uh, the largest uh, referral hospital called Kenyatta National Hospital So we are back at UAP Towers as you can see, that is UAP Towers, UAP Towers, the third largest or the third uh, tallest building in Kenya, it's owned by UAP, it's, it's an insurance uh, company called UAP, All Mutual, which uh, owns the building, even Britam Towers by the way, is owned uh, by Britam insurance so i'll show you around this place as i told you um apple right now is a commercial area so hope you will continue enjoying and continue guys subscribing to my channel i'm um, keep to five four so that i can be able to be uh, bringing you this kind of kind of content This building houses the Ministry of Sports and Youth Affairs in Kenya. It's called Talanta Plaza. It's a new building by right there. That is the KCB Towers. The CB Towers, one of the tallest of There is equity center over here also. It's 
it's also neighboring KCB towers so let's go to where the dollar is building in Kenya and Eastern Central Africa I'll show you you see beautiful building over here awesome this one is called Blue Shell Towers there's another building for Britain over there is it orange? yeah or brown yeah, building this is Apple area okay. There are some also other buildings here. Don't know the name of the other one. And then there it is the tallest building in Kenya. It's called the Britam Towers. You see how it's tall. There are a lot of floors. There's the KCB Towers. show you once and for all let me show you the last one no? now in the evening guys as you can see uh, there are a lot of uh, vehicles people are moving from one place to another so people are just going home that's why you can see uh, this jam this is a uh, Ngong road around city machari and uh, around about city machari around about and uh, you can see people are just uh, going home right now in the evening they are from work and uh, the roads are really packed as you can see this is Kilimani so area as this you can area see is there are a lot of uh, tall residential uh, building this is a uh, place where you will find a lot of apartments coming up you'll find also uh, car showrooms as you can see um, there are a lot of showroom on the left side I didn't capture that well and also there's a uh, bit of traffic right now because it's in the evening but generally you can see a lot of uh, tall apartments this is Africa this is Kenya uh, those are apartments you can see there are other coming up there are others which have been completed and generally Kilimani is a, a good area and uh, this uh, area is around Prestige, Prestige Mall uh, there's a mall up there you can see those beautiful apartments guys this is Kenya this is Nairobi Kenya so if you are watching from the other side welcome to Nairobi this is, this is uh, around near Adams no, around Adams area. You can see yeah, there's those uh, so commercial buildings in the right to the traffic is moving. You can see the so, so this area is a mix of residential and also of commercial this is in Gong Road this road is going to Gong Town residential building there 
can see up there is a uh, decorated corner and then the road is pretty and it's then go to Kawangware and then the other and road goes to Ngong town and this part you road. see a lot of roads Apartment, residential apartments also yes, coming up over here. Yeah. This part of Kilimani. Yeah, so a lot of people are some of them very very interesting. But at least there is building a special apartment. There is a lift which can carry a little hard to solve. So this area. Is this near is Ngongo Road, Mall. near the Great also, Corner, as you can see, there is a residential place and you know, a commercial place. A small roundabout over there. You see that roundabout. The and cars then, coming from the other side of Costa. A nice place in the Awesome, 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 awesome. Those are the, no, those are the commercial uh, buildings. Yeah. There is no jam, the road is That's flowing. So, I'm about to conclude my vlog, guys. There are good workplaces here. Yeah. This one is for the Christian, the other one is for the cyclist. Bringing you this kind of content, guys. Share with your friends. You can see there are some uh, business rooms there. Yeah. Then there is an apartment over uh, there. I'm to show you guys. So, continue yeah. subscribing, share with your friends. You can follow me on TikTok, keep848, Instagram, you can always